Instagram. I'm Vicki Friedenberg and I'm an electrophysiology nurse scientist here at Children's National. I specialize in arrhythmias at the heart and cardiac devices such as pacemakers and defibrillators. And my day consists of taking care of patients from newborns through adults with congenital heart disease who have these issues. I also spend a lot of time teaching patients and staff about mindfulness and practical ways to decrease their stress. So what is mindfulness? One popular definition is that mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. So what does that mean? It means we can learn how to pay attention to our experiences by responding to and not reacting to them because we take a moment to breathe and think before our response. It means we develop the ability to notice and observe our sensations, thoughts, and feelings, even though they may be unpleasant. It means that we learn how to act with awareness and intention without being on automatic pilot, meaning that we don't do something like eat a meal so fast that we can't even taste it or don't remember what we ate, or that we have gone through a traffic light and hope that on the other side, we aren't wondering whether it was red or green because we weren't really paying attention. And finally, mindfulness also means that we learn to focus on the experience itself, not on our judgments about whether it's good or bad. We accept it for what it is, whether it's good or bad, and we're going to approach it the same way, knowing that it won't stay this way forever, whether it's good or bad. No situation is all good or all bad. And whatever it is in this moment will change, whether it's good or bad. There's different ways that we can find mindfulness. We can find it in a variety of ways, such as meditation, breathing exercises, sports and physical activity, being in nature through creative expression like art and music, and calming things like pets and babies and crocheting or knitting, for example. It can improve our heart by teaching us to be calm in times of stress and responding in ways that are much easier on our physiology without reacting in ways that rev up our nervous system and are bad for our health. It can lower our blood pressure and heart rates, and it can help us in those moments when we're feeling stressed and noticing that our hearts are racing, our stomachs churning because we're stressed and anxious by using simple breathing techniques and other tools to help us calm ourselves down. Mindfulness looks different for little kids versus the rest of the family. Believe it or not, kids as young as two or three can do certain types of breathing that can help calm them down. And I'm gonna tell you some of these fun techniques. And then we'll go over some breathing techniques that you as adults can use when you're stressed or even just routinely throughout the day. Practicing these simple techniques regularly, even for brief periods of time every day are what increase your mindfulness and your being able to be present in every moment. So let's start with a couple of fun techniques that you can teach your younger children. One technique is called smell the cupcake. So you tell your child or ask your child to breathe in, smell the cupcake and blow out the candle. Smell the cupcake, blow out the candle. Another breathing exercise you can do with young children is to tell them to fill up their bellies like it's a big balloon, breathing in, and then breathing out, they blow up a balloon in their mouth. So they're breathing in, filling up their belly as a balloon, and then blowing out into a balloon that's in their mouth. And another fun one you can try with little kids is called bubble breathing, where you have them imagine that they're blowing a bubble through a bubble wand, or if you have those bu bubbles, you can use them as well. And you have them take a deep breath in through their nose and slowly breathe out to blow that bubble through the wand without breaking it. And do that, repeat that as many times as necessary. So these are only a few examples of breathing techniques that young kids can enjoy, can enjoy and understand. And you can do these techniques with them and they'll help you as well as an adult. But some other types of, of breathing techniques that are better for older kids and adults are simple breathing techniques where you can count 
One of them is a, is, a, is a five count breath where you count in for five and you breathe out for five. So you breathe in one, two, three, four, five, and you breathe out one, two, three, four, five. And you do that several times. Another counting breath is called a four, seven, eight breath. So for this breath, you breathe into four, one, two, three, four, and you hold it for a count of seven if that's comfortable. And then you breathe out for a long exhale to a count of eight. And you repeat that three times. That type of breathing is very calming to your nervous system. Um, you can set a timer on your phone if you'd like to, even as short as two minutes and just close your eyes and sit in silence as you just focus on your breath and notice how it feels going in through your nose, filling up your lungs, your belly, and then breathing out. Your mind is gonna keep wandering and your mind will move to thinking because that's what our minds do, but that's okay. No matter how many times you become aware that your mind is being active again, just come right back to your breathing over and over again, even if you just have to do that every single time. Over time, you'll notice that, that this, the breathing gets easier and that your mind starts to calm down. They don't call this practice for nothing. It takes practice, but just practicing is beneficial. Even if you feel like you're not doing a great job, your body is responding to it and it's helping and it's helping your heart. If you have 10 or 15 minutes a day that you can sit and practice, that's wonderful. But if you only have a couple minutes a day, you'll notice a difference between when you started the breathing exercise and when you finished. Even sometimes just taking three long, slow, deep breaths is enough for you to feel a difference. So that's your mindfulness lesson for today. There are lots of resources online and some great apps too. Thanks so much for listening and for watching this episode of Bear Bites. If you have follow-up questions, please feel free to leave them in, our, in the comments or give my team a call at 202-476-3135. Thank you.